what type of enterprises look at a high performance job at home? What kind of enterprise will actually benefit from it? In a very broad manner, um, businesses that run mission critical applications based on Java that have large deployments oftentimes have a need for a high performance Java platform. And, and to give you some specific examples, um, a lot of our business, for example, is with very large retailers and e-tailers. So they have lots and lots of transactions going on at a given point in time. They have lots of, of infrastructure required to run those, those applications. Many of those applications are written in Java. And as a result of that, they have a lot of spend that they're doing with both their on-prem uh, on-premise uh, data centers as well as their cloud deployments. And so the cost of deploying this complex set of applications to do a full end-to-end -end transaction in, in retail or retail, that's that's a very costly type of thing that the IT organization uh, needs to, to keep up to date and maintain. A high-performance Java platform in that particular case, by running the applications faster, it means you need less infrastructure to run. That can save on your on-prem costs. It can save in your cloud costs. And so uh, Zoho Platform Prime, for example, is very popular with, with large retailers and retailers. Other examples, you can think about markets that care about speed and performance and latency. So a, 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 a classic example of that is uh, trading. So uh, you know, big banks that, that have trading applications or trading equities, they're trading bonds, fixed incomes, they're trading uh, foreign exchange, et cetera. Speed really matters in that market, and so you know that the, the the first to process a trade, if you're an exchange, being able to you know rapidly accept a trade and 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 uh, close out that trade, those things absolutely uh, drive success and failure in that market. And so speed is everything in that space. Um, Azul with Platform Prime, we actually have 10 out of the 10 um, largest. Uh, trading banks actually all use uh, Azure Platform Prime in their trading applications because of its performance and scale and low latency, et cetera, et cetera. So um, another example that's kind of similar to, to that kind of trading is, is ad tech. So ad tech, of course, is, is you know, the, the infrastructure that places ads in front of your eyeballs, you know, based on your behavior and, and based on, on what, you know, the websites that uh, a user visits. Um, decisions get made in terms of you know what you like to see, and advertisers obviously pay for those those spots that to put their brands in, in front of your eyes. And so again, it's a it's a very high transaction uh, type of application, and one which requires very quick decision making to be able to keep up with with you know the the ever changing uh, opinions and, and preferences of, of consumers. So that's that's another classic example. Other examples, for example, SaaS companies um, that inherently have very large amounts of cloud spend. SaaS in general is, is very commonly associated with deployment in the cloud and, and lots of cloud spend. And if you think about a SaaS company, the gross margin associated with running that application in SaaS companies, for example, Salesforce is, is probably the most famous SaaS company or Workday or, or um uh, Canva or, you know, these very large firms now, they're all um, using, you know, very large deployments in the cloud. Anything that they can do to save money in terms of, of serving the service that they provide is, a, is truly bottom line uh, dollar savings. And so SaaS companies oftentimes use high performance uh, Java platforms like Azure Platform Prime to, again, contain their costs, being able to have higher transaction while uh, a more optimized cost infrastructure, et cetera. Other examples, gaming companies, again, very high, uh, large volumes of users being able to, you know, have very tight latency requirements as many of these games are real time games and users need to respond to one another. And so being able to, to do that with very uh, high performance and, and inherently lower cost, very important for gaming companies. So list goes on and on, but that, that gives you a, a feel for uh, for the types of, of workloads and businesses that, uh, that look for a high-performance Java platform. 